Over the past two years, around $1.5 billion was raised for the LEAF Coalition, an initiative that provides finance for countries containing tropical forests. Companies can buy credit through the LEAF Coalition to help tackle climate change. The money is used by those countries' governments to implement programmes that both protect forests and promote sustainable development. This is just one example of the emerging carbon market, a market poised for unprecedented growth and price appreciation. Today, over 90% of the world's GDP is covered by a net zero target. Carbon markets establish the currency of decarbonisation by placing a value on reducing emissions. Today, carbon trading is worth an estimated $900 billion annually and covers over 17% of global greenhouse gas emissions. There is still a lot of room for growth and it has the potential to rival the size of major commodity markets whilst supporting global climate priorities. There are generally two kinds of carbon markets, compliance and voluntary. Compliance markets legally require companies to hold permits equal to their emissions based on emission caps that decline each year. They are designed to bring down carbon supply, pushing up prices of carbon allowances, thus making it more expensive to pollute. Voluntary markets allow corporates to achieve their climate goals using carbon credits from projects that reduce or sequester climate emissions. In order to reach the goals of the Paris Agreement, carbon prices must go up significantly. But of course, buying carbon credits halfway across the world isn't enough. This is why best practice initiatives such as the LEAF Coalition require that companies who invest must also make their own emissions cuts and publicly commit to science-based targets. Global carbon prices are poised to continue rising, reflecting heightened climate action and providing interesting investment opportunities over the next decade.